Congratulations, right, Classic Wings 9 to VB, local flight to the West 420. Classic Wings 9, taxi Bravo 24, QNH 1019. Taxi Bravo 24, 1019, Classic Wings uh, 9. What is that translate to in inches here? Uh, 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 good question. Okay. Alright, what are we at this out, I guess, is the question. <laughs> Uh, what, uh, what, uh, 1015, we're, uh, we're going to look after it, we've got an indicator door on. Off Lambert Delta, I'll do a report final. Oh, I'll do a report final, we're going to look after it. We're on 26. So, um, yeah. 126. Uh, can you hear me now? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's alright, we're just adjusting this slowly. Oh, okay, sorry. So, um, yeah, no, it's quite, for the air traffic, it's quite interesting here. I bet it is. So we have a uh, inducted information, but on the ground they have discretion to be a tower. So basically we are under control on the ground because we have two runways, so we have the grass and the hard. So they've designated all movements on the ground have to be um, by clearance. But then as soon as the wheels take off, you're then into this The Golf November Delta is a diamond. Report final, go ahead. No, I don't know uh, report final. I have to any other back. airfield that has that um, particular combination at all. Yeah, they have that in Canada called, uh, uh, well, for flight, uh, flight service stations, they call them. Yeah. So ground control and then uh, airport advisory. Yeah. Final yeah. yeah. Catalina, check with so, um, uh, touching your discretion. Yeah, it, it's, quite, it's quite an unusual thing here. Uh, yeah. But once you get used to it, it's quite nice. Yeah. Because being a tail dragger, you want somebody to be looking out for you. Yeah, exactly. On the ground. Yeah, I can't In the air, that's here. fine. But in, on the ground? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, it's quite quiet today. In, in, the, um, in the height of the season, they can do uh, as many movements as he throw in the day. Oh, yeah, I, I bet. So it's... Um, yeah, so they, and they work very hard, and they're a great bunch of guys here on the air traffic. They, uh, yeah. The trouble is, I try to learn their names, and then they change, and you're kind of like, no, oh, don't do that. Yeah. That's don't do my knows. Denise. Yep. So there's not a lot to check on the on the tiger glass. I've put the trimmer forward. We've got the throttle fiction loosened. Uh, we've already checked the mags. I've done all of that for dead cut. We've got the radios. We've got the altimeter on uh, 1019er, and then... We've got the um, communications, we've got a nice oil pressure at 30, and that's it. We are good to go. We've had fuel. Okay. So it'll get quite noisy as we take off. Um, I'll try and talk you through. Uh, it's all the same as, as another tail drag, you know, we get the tail up first yep. uh, to get um, rudder authority, and then we take off. But it's a little bit noisier than, than any other oh, tail yeah. dragger that I know. Yeah. But as soon as we level off, I can bring the power back and I can turn the radio down a bit so we can hear it. And the good thing is they know how we operate. Yeah. So it's kind of like ready immediate, yes. Yeah, inside. <laughs> Inside of the bus. That's the information. Top of the tangle off the inbound deployment of the death information. Reply, take off your discretion. 280 degrees, 15. Take off my discretion on 24. Here we go. Roger.
landing. Uh, 
Roger. Just uh, give away to the Cuddlina once that parks. Yeah, they wanted a really quick build aeroplane, Jeffrey de Hamlin, who designed them. Yeah. He knew the wall was coming, so he designed a really quick build aeroplane. Yeah. And then um, turned the engine upside down, set the propeller straight on the tractor. Oh, what's got rid of all gearing. So that they could be easily made and easily maintained in yeah. those days. Yeah, they're not, beautiful. Not so easily maintained now. No, not now. You need to be a craftsman now. Yeah. Instead of just some guy from Leicester. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Turning final, contact one ahead. That's me too, zero, Roger. Nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Very nice. Two ones to the right as well. Yeah. Well, if you keep that nose on the horizon as you go around, it really helps. Tango Oscar, okay, right, cross, cross. There, look at that, perfectly balanced, that's beautiful, you can feel it, don't you? Yeah. Lovely, 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 lovely job. They turn on a dive too, I don't know if that's because you need all this rudder or, or what, but it's... I think it's the way they've been, um, the way they've actually been designed, I mean, they'll turn, they will turn a lot, a lot more than that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to show you? Upper, yep. Okay. Your control. I have control? Right. Okay. And uh, I'll try and do a right one then. Right. Let, let's do the harder one. Here we go. Right, right turn. And again, if you look at those five wires in front of you, yep. they're sticking those parallel with the earth. Don't ever let that nose go too far down. Yep. That's when things go horribly wrong. So I apply the power and just rest those five wires on the, on the horizon. Yep. And then she should. Oh, okay. Typical, I found the village. Of all these green fields, I found a little village. I'll be thinking I'm doing it on purpose. Wow. That's amazing. That radius is just like... Yeah, it's within the field, yeah. The wing, it just yeah. goes. I'll just take it two steps forward before we try another one, or else they'll... Uh, yeah. You always find a village, don't you, when you're doing stuff of like course, that? Of course, yeah. Right, there, there's, there's a field. Okay, so now on the left one, and again, okay. don't let the nose slip. That's the secret with the tiger one. Keep that nose of the horizon and then, yeah. but you've got an awful lot of back pressure here. Yeah, I can feel the jeep. But she really does spin right on that sixpence. Great. Wow. 40. Beautifully controlled. That's amazing. They are, aren't they? They're yeah. just lovely. You can see why I love them now, can't you? Oh, 100%. And I should fly a steerman so that I can compare them, shouldn't you I? You should, you really should. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a different feeling for sure. Yeah, I bet. Okay, you have control. My control. And they're really benign of the tigers. You know, if you stall them, you've got to really do something to, to throw them into... Oh, yeah. ...into sort of spins and that. Yeah. They will do it, but... Yeah. And because ours are workhorses and they fly every day apart from Mondays and weather days, we tend to treat them really nicely now. We stick oh, to... Oh, yeah, uh, of course. Big turns and yeah. lazy figures of eights. And How many hours do you have in the uh, Tiger Moss now? Well, I've only got about 500, which yeah. I know doesn't sound much, but... Well, when you're doing it all 60 knots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, well. Okay, bring us down on the right turn. I would love to stay up flying with you all day. I know. <laughs> That's all right, duty oh, call. Oh, well, I really would. You're really good. It's, uh, um, I'll just get us in the downwind area. Yep. And this is the other thing. They just had a Gosshawk tube. So the Stearmans did have a radio, but the Tiger Moth learned with a, with a tube. Oh, yeah. Literally just between the two headsets. <laughs> so how uh, they ever learned to fly, I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, and I never get tired of, I know it's very flat around here, but I never get tired of the countryside, it's oh, so I beautiful know. around here. You have to come to Canada and fly in the Rocky Mountains. I, do you know, oh. I just, it's on my bucket list to do, and some float plane flying and that. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. you get in the airplane and an hour, yeah, an hour yeah. away you can uh, grab oh. a strip, on oh, yourself, and show yeah. me around for miles. Oh. Well the cub, the guy, um, there's a cub in today. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the airplane to do it in, isn't it, a cub? Yeah. They're just do it to the... Yeah. I do it in the Cherokee. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah, Cherokee oh, 180. Yeah, just throw a bunch of people in the back and just go. Oh, uh, fantastic. I would love to do that. Yeah. Okay, so that's it straight in front of you. And we're just heading back. 
Yep. Uh, we'll come downwind, so just uh, come to the right about 10 degrees. Yep, I've got the field of sight. Marvellous. Oh, we've got a little gas venting station that's a ring at the end that we have to fly around, so we have to do a sort of like a bigger... We can either go in front of it or oh, around yeah. it. Okay. Um, and we'll see what the traffic's doing, so I'll just turn the radio up and see what's, uh, what's going on. Right. Do you still have control? My control still. Hello <laughs> from Ocean Classic Wing 9 to the west for rejoin. Actually, flying report downwind, left hand 24, QFE 1015. Make QFE 1016 now. Report downwind for 24, left hand 1016. Lovely job, doesn't yeah, sound like there's anybody else. New pressures, QH 1020, QFE 1016. Say again, QH 1020, QH 1016. Correction, QFE 1016. Uh, as I say, yeah, the flight information service here. And they're very good, actually. They're very yeah. giving you all the kind of different things. Oh, yeah. What we do here is, because we're slow, we stick to the southern side, and then the warbirds and the fast guys go to the uh, north. Okay. And that, um, yeah, it works really well. To segregate everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't tend to allow gliders in here and non-radio. Okay. Uh, just because pitching them into the traffic. Right. And there's often people doing aerobatics in the overhead, so therefore... Oh, right, yeah. And no overhead joins and things like that. Yeah. So it, um, it tends to freak some people out sometimes. And you kind of like, well, no, just, just sort of learn the... You know, have a look at it and see. Yeah. Uh, Not a big deal. Uh, it's a Friday. The motorway's already starting to get solid on the right-hand side. I know. I need to drive to London today. Oh, no! I know. <laughs> But you can see what I'm doing instead, right? <laughs> hey, it's worth it, isn't it? I made my choice. Oh. Yeah. My wife's very supportive. She flies too, actually. Oh, does she? Yeah. That's brilliant because, you know, trying to encourage women to fly, and certainly in the, in the vintage world, we never get enough women, you know. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it, it'd be wonderful to try and encourage more women to uh, the vintage side of things. Absolutely, yeah. Because trust me, I, I'm, I'm pure persistence. Okay. That's a 
lovely way to descend there, that's fine. Right. Southern wind sign, turning final for 240. Final discretion, 270 degrees, 15. Final discretion, on 240, classic wing. There you go, so it's land discretion and then of course we're going to get it clear. Right. Okay, so. to the I have control. And again, there's two ways to fly a tail to drag right. You know, you can either crab it in like this, yep. or you can get the wind down. And the, the real problem is the motorway tends to give us horrible bit of turbulence just coming oh, yeah. over it. Yeah. What I'm going to do is, because we've got a lovely bit of grass in front of us, they cut all the grass the same. We're going to angle off a little bit. Oh, nice. There's nothing in front of us. Oh. Now we've just got to go for it. Around on the feet as a tail burger. And you can see we've run out of ail on authority. Yeah. Have we more ail on authority? Yeah. <laughs> I gave you probably a bit more with, with my D. <laughs> and that's the real problem with these, they they just run out of the ail on authority because your yeah. chairman has one on the top wing as well. Yeah, that's right. So of course these suffer when they come into ground effect. Yeah. And uh, so fifteen knots cross is Probably lots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's our limit. And today actually it's quite crosswindy, but it's quite a steady crosswind. Yeah, I thought it would be more bumpy than it was, but it was perfectly yeah. smooth. Yeah, really nice. Oh. Yeah, it's because it's colder. Oh yeah. So because it's uh, yeah. nice and cold, it's got Yeah, there's no, quite devel nice. no real development up there either. He's coming right to the back. Yeah, that's fine. That. Perfect. Perfect parking, you see? That's exactly what they would have done. They would have just yeah. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, so, German, because you've got brakes, yeah. whereas we don't have any brakes, we've literally got the skid at the back. Yeah. Um, the ground crew would have just done that, and they would have...